well. <laughs> Alright, okay, so um, the websites and like the videos were uh, mostly talking about uh, like what we understand about brain development and um, and kind of like how we're trying to deal with it. Um, and like uh, there's a lot of things that we have been doing recently, especially like with videos that aren't really proven to be true. Um, and uh, it's like really significant because this is our like the prime development uh, period for infants. Um, and uh, so many of them, uh, or the time one was talking, the time article was talking about how most parents and most babies are use uh, videos like DVDs and they just kind of get put in front of a screen and um, like that is actually showing to cause like uh, detriment like a uh, detrimental effects um, because it all it, like babies need that face to face um, and uh, the, um, let's see uh, and then um, the video, the one video about the brain yoga, that was kind of just like exercises um, to like promote like brain energy, like mental energy. Um, and then the one of the websites, the other website for the, the infant learning com uh, company um, was basically just like trying to show uh, like how to teach babies like language skills, especially how it just like promotes like a uh, like positive like motor function um and uh the last one i was kind of confused on this one uh i couldn't really tell get like a straight answer exactly what it is but it just seems like it's kind of like it's like more dvds and like activities to try to like i don't know get kid babies and kids to just kind of like to get just to learn um but yeah okay so um for the pros uh specifically for the brain yoga um there's actually pretty like significant results because uh it's also like not that hard it's pretty pretty simple method but it does do a lot of good um so it's basically just exercises to help um our like our neurons our pathways to basically just be like more active and they get stimulated and they're uh yeah they're more connected um and one of them was like you put your your hands like this on your earlobes because you have pressure points right here that connect like to the brain, um, and you kind of do like a squat type thing, uh, and uh, basically it just like act, it stimulates the both sides, both hemispheres, the left and the right of your brain, um, and it kind of connects them. It just kind of gets them going, and uh, a lot of the um, like the teachers and the doctors were saying that like they notice results in themselves and in their students like the teacher especially um was uh she's a special ed teacher and uh she was saying that like one of her students um like uh, she would ask them to do something and they wouldn't even respond they would just kind of just they wouldn't i don't know but like uh then uh, after doing all these exercises and stuff they were uh she said that he would kind of like stop for a second and kind of process it and then he would uh and then he would do it so that's definitely like an improvement um and the doctor was talking about how he knew a c student that, that started doing the exercises and like and went to start it became a straight a student so um definitely a lot of like good results uh and uh uh one of the yeah and then the one of the pros or yeah um the so that's like that's the only one that i really saw like some like significant results in um it seems like uh the one the the infant learning company like uh it was hard to find like the actual results but it seems like they're that what they were talking about the pros of it um actually do do some good because yeah it's kind of the same thing but it's like instead of doing exercises it's like kind of like working your brain out uh to like get your motor skills going and kind of get connections going um so those seem pretty good. Um, the other two didn't seem the the other one. The Time magazine was wasn't really talking about the pros. They were mostly talking about the cons. And uh, yeah. All right. So um, for the cons, the the Time article was talking a lot about that and how uh, 
how a lot of parents just kind of shove their kid in front or their infant in front of the a screen and it uh it's it's actually causing a lot of harm like and it's it's pretty bad because like almost it's almost like everybody now it's not just like few because it's so widely available um and that by three months old uh 90 percent of uh of all uh, infants spend about two to three hours a day on the screen um which is actually causing a lot of harm because uh the, you need that the babies need that interaction that they need that like feedback um uh instead of just kind of like sitting there and just kind of like listening to the to whoever's talking um they need that like reassurance and that interaction so that they can actually learn so it can actually be like processed and um yeah like you just you can't get that with uh just um when they're just listening um and uh it was actually saying too that uh well kind of it because it, it's it's all about like the stimulation and overstimulating um because the stimulation like that's what like helps the brain like learn uh but well uh, when it's uh, when you're getting overstimulated it actually causes harm because like this sh your attention span gets shorter and you're you don't really like you're you're you expect that high level of stimulation um and you start to see that as normal and so when you don't get that all the time then like we like they said that they were saying that how reality becomes boring uh because if you're over stimula stimulated um then like that becomes the norm and any sort of like satisfaction comes from just like kind of like instant like, gratification which uh doesn't really get you that far because you're not like getting that like deep like thought process going you're just kind of like give me the information now um which uh is not too good for learning but um, so overall, I think, yeah, I, I would say that it is possible to accelerate learning, um, at least slightly. And there's definitely things you can do that causes harm to your learning. Uh, cause definitely with, um, like with the screen time that, that, that can be pretty bad. That definitely like stunts your growth, uh, in learning. Um, so I think that definitely you can do stuff to help uh, learning like those exercises for sure and just like yeah getting your brain going your brain is just like a muscle like you go into the gym like you need to you need to like work it out so that it so that it can grow and um i think it's definitely possible to to do things that promote it to promote growth um and like there's definitely like benefits from having screen time um because there's a lot of information that you can get quicker uh, if you need to, but at that young age, like you, you need that feedback. You need that, uh, that interaction, which you don't get from the screen. Um, so I think definitely it's possible to accelerate learning. Maybe not like, maybe not like, like it's not instant. It's not going to be an instant, uh, acceleration, but it's definitely, there's definitely things you can do to promote it. Um, and definitely things that you can do to hurt it. Um, I think, yeah, I think it is possible for sure.